do the research when you're looking for a therapist. If you really want to connect with someone and have a meaningful relationship, it's important to pay attention to those people that have gone to therapy and maybe they've had a very good experience and they would recommend their therapist. Maybe you've heard about some therapists or private practitioners um, and you've not had an opportunity um, prior to that moment to really look into their backgrounds. You know, I think about how we do a lot of times when we're going to, um, let's say a restaurant. We'll Google, we'll look at what's on the menu. And if you're like me, I read the reviews. So when you're checking in or trying to find a service or a service provider, many individuals are listed Google. You can Google them, find out what their specialties are. Finding therapists right now is, is, was, is really easy, but back then it was very difficult, um, mainly because it was during the pandemic. Um, I didn't know any anybody close close in my circle that was a male, because I actually wanted to do something different, was actually connect with a male therapist, and particularly a black male therapist. And so I went to, I think it was called black male th blackmenstherapy.org. Um, and that was really where I was able to find a therapist that was actually based in Detroit. Uh, so for me, it was really just about doing the navigating and the networking and doing kind of like what everybody does. If you want some information, you just start Googling and start doing the research. But I was adamant about finding a therapist. And so it, for me, it was just doing the groundwork. For those who are interested in locating a therapist in the Grand Rapids or surrounding areas, you can contact or go to MHCOC gr.org um, that is mental health clinicians of color in grand rapids we do have a directory um, so that you can locate a therapist specifically for you